Hey guys, welcome back to Grey Matter. Sorry it's been a while. Um, I was having some issues with this little area here. Um, I hope everyone had a good Christmas, or if you don't celebrate, at least had a good, you know, holiday season. Um, so yeah, this would freeze and then it would corrupt my video files for some reason. And it still freezes, but it stopped doing that. So I don't know if the game just needed a little break or what. But, um, we're back now. So, and I had to look up what this whole thing was about. Because I don't understand numbers or math or anything. Because I drink my dumb bitch juice every morning. And looking back on it, I'm like, I probably looked up the answer to this. Because I don't understand. I still don't understand. I just know that first zero has to be set to 99. The rest have to be set for... I mean, 27 through 39 have to be set to zero. These are percentage signs. I didn't know that. They didn't look like them to me. Still don't know what any of this means, but it doesn't matter. I have had a year, as we all have. I'm allowed to be stupid. Life's too short not to look up the answers. Sometimes. I don't like to do it. It doesn't make me feel good. But you know what? I'm giving myself a pass. It seems to be correct. Woo! And I guess she's just supposed to spell something out here. So, Laura girl, we're gonna give you a minute. I'm gonna leave. And I will come back to you. Do to do. Oh, look at all this lovely wine we have. I really should give some of this away to charity. It's just gathering dust down here. You should have a rager. That's what you should do with all that wine. Let's go back. Laura, you haven't said anything. I think you're supposed to say something. You know? It moved a little bit. I'm gonna go... If I click on the map, it will automatically transport me outside. Hooray! Okay. Let's pretend we took a little trip, even though I can't go anywhere else on the map. Fingers crossed. Okay, getting the key to your little thing, David. You're so oh, I didn't turn the button on. There's supposed to be a button. Again. There, that's Bitch got juice. it. Okay. I'm gonna leave now. Do to do. Look at my wine. Look at this fancy panel on the floor. Look at this big gate. Oh, I have such a big house. There are more vaults, but they're dark and treacherous. I've got a whole catacomb system underneath my house. That's how big my house is. Okay. Oh, what does it say? I'm... David, that's not what you're supposed to be looking at. I... am... I... Maybe... I'm trying to come through? I'm not sure what Laura's trying to say, if that is indeed Laura. Yeah, that's a good point could not be her um 
That's why you don't mess with Ouija boards. I've, I'll never touch a Ouija board. Ever. I think I did when I was in middle school because some girls did it as part of their science fair experiment. Don't ask me why the school let them do that. We straight up had a Ouija board in the library during school hours. It was, um, a weird time. Um, <laughs> and, but yeah, I, and now I will never touch those. Um, because I've heard way too many horror stories. What do I do now? Unless I'm just supposed to... Where did my photo go? Can I print this? Okay, I guess not. Can I take the photo? It's a scanner. I know, can I print something? I don't know, I'm just gonna leave and then maybe come back and maybe she'll have written something more. I really don't know. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna go talk to Mrs. Dalton and see if she has anything to say. Because maybe I can talk to her about what be happening down here. Be like, haha, ghosts are real. I gotcha, this machine proves it. Hello. Everything alright? Fine, thanks. Except for my weird thing in the basement. My super secret project. What is that piece of junk metal out by the garage? You mean the bike? I saw that. I assumed it belongs to Sam. It's broken down from what I can tell. That explains the state she arrived in. It's a bloody eyesore. Well, since no one ever comes to Dreadhill House, no one will ever see it, will they? I have to see it. Listen, ring the repair shop in town and have them collect that bike. Tell them to do whatever they must to fix the ugly thing. Why, David, that's generous of you. Can't have the girl getting stuck here, can I? I did a nice thing, but only because it's ugly. All right, Laura. Girl, come through for me, I'm begging ya. Uh... Fingers crossed. Oh my god. Kill me. What am I supposed to do now? Because it says on my little list here. Psy research. RNG device, which I did. Isolation tank, which I did. What is, what is Psy research? What does that constitute, David? Tell me, please, you need to be more specific. going back in the tank. This is too much. The shampoo is loaded in the scent filter. Did that do anything? Okay, well I'm gonna come back when I figure out what to do. Later. Right, I'm back. And there's apparently two things left I need to do. One, I need to inspect this mirror because of what Mrs. Dalton told me. So, let's see. She's not here now, but I'm sure Mrs. Dalton saw Laura. Mrs. Dalton's- Okay. And then apparently I'm supposed to call the detective guy but I don't understand because I already looked at his business card and David didn't say anything. Go.
Oh yeah, you let me teleport that time. David, can I get- No, I'm fine. It's a business card from Inspector Pazer of the- We established that. Can you please call him? It's a business card. Please call him this time. If you say you don't have anyone to call, I am going to scream. Thank you. I don't know. I don't know. As long as it worked. Hello? Inspector, it's David Stiles. You worked on my case. Car crash in Oxford. Oh, Dr. Stiles. I remember. Your wife. Terrible accident. Yes. Look, I know it was a long time ago, and this is a strange question. Was there anything unusual about the cars? The car that hit us, perhaps, or... Just anything you remember. Hang on a sec. I'm looking at the file. Listen, what made you call and ask me about it now? I thought I remembered My hearing something. wife's ghost it's told me. me. I don't That's remember rational. her telling you. You were in the hospital and... Well, anyway, there was something a bit off. The car that hit you, the gas pedal was fused to the floor. Damn. Actually melted into it. Thing is, that car didn't burn in the crash. Not a bit of it. It might explain him running through that give way sign. Except how the driver got from his home five miles away to that junction with a gas pedal in that condition is a mystery to me, Dr. Stiles. Thank you. You're right. Very curious. If there's anything else I can... I'll be in touch. Oh yay, more experiments. Are you allowed to film this? Do you have something to say to me, Miss Everett? No. Turn that thing off, please. Dr. Stiles, are you sure it's safe after what happened last night? Safe? Of course, why wouldn't it be? Oh damn, yeah, he doesn't even know about that. Whoopsie. He doesn't even know. Why should Dr. Stiles concern himself with fraternity pranks? I still feel as nervous as a virgin on prom night. Settle down. I'm not paying you to chitter-chatter. Lie back and close your eyes. Relax. Sink into the bed. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Tonight, you're at the swimming pool at St. Edmund. Your eyes are closed and you're standing on the rough cement surface next to the pool. You grip and relax your bare feet. Your toes can feel all the tiny bumps and smooth paint of the cement. You smell the chlorine in the air and feel dampness on your skin. When you open your eyes, you will see a pleasant illumination from the lamps reflecting off the water. Get out! Get out! There's a shark. Oh no, someone turned the water into Kool-Aid.
Oh my god, it's doing the thing where it just- Yeah, we're skipping the cutscene because you're playing the cutscene again. I don't know why it does that. Sam! Sam! Why are you in my room? This feels Something's unprofessional. Happened. Get up, come on. I am up. What? What are you doing in my room? A few seconds earlier and you'd have caught me dressing. Sorry, I'll uh, wait in the hall. I just heard on the radio there was an incident at the pool of St. Edmund Hall last night and they mentioned another one at Horsepath Track the night before. What happened at the pool? I want you to go over there immediately and find out what happened. Exactly what happened. I want a detailed report. You want me to investigate? Well, I can't go. You'll have to be my eyes and ears, Sam. Okay. Well, what are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Go! Cool, I get to do stuff other than filing paperwork. Yay! Okay. Pool, pool, at St. Edmund Hall. I assume that is where the pool is. Yeah, I can go in here now. Hello, sir. Oh, I have to use a card now. Let's look at some names. Who's up here? Who'd be up here? Helena, Harvey, Angela, Charles. They all live in this residence hall. Even Malik lives here. Interesting. I know there's some Easter egg Jensen Roberta over here, and then... I thought there was someone with the last name Nakamura. Nakamura. Oh, here we go, John Nakamura. Okay. Woo! Easter eggs. Okay, can I just go on it? I'm just gonna go on Hang it. on there, miss. Don't mind me. Over here, please. Hi. I'm just gonna you keep You need walking. to show me a student ID before you're allowed anywhere <coughs> I'm sorry. in this building. Oh, okay. I mean, I have... Do I still have Helena's? Where did I get this one with the picture of my face on it? How did I... I don't know. I have it. That's cool. Go me. Here's my ID. Let's take a look. Helena, that's a beautiful name. Beautiful name. Beautiful girl. Thank you. Don't talk to me. Okay. Seems to me we've got another Helena in residence. Uh oh. Let me see. Don't bother. I know her. Red hair? Nice girl. Can I go up now? I'm running late. <laughs> Aren't they all? Go up then. Undergrad wing only, though. That way, only grads are allowed up on their side. Oh, all right. There's always a hierarchy, miss. Way of the world, isn't it? Sure. How did I... I really want to know how I got this. Did she say anything? If I click on it? I did a good job replacing the photo. Oh, cool. It looks pretty convincing. It wouldn't pass a cop test, but then it shouldn't have to. I'm surprised that wasn't a, uh, another puzzle. I feel like it would have been. Let's go to the pool. Oh, hey, it's back to normal. I wanted some Kool-Aid. Sure, it's safe to drink. Flip-flops. With socks? He looks more like a German tourist than a pool man. Hi there. I see the pool is back to its usual color today. Yeah? How'd you get the dye out? 
Well, whatever was in there, Phil was got it out by morning. Did anyone take a sample of the water while it was stained? What for? Um, to analyze it? It don't matter, it's out now. Yeah, that scientific inquiry thing is highly overrated. Sir, what if it... What if it was blood? What if there had been a murder? Did you notice any sign of tampering with the pool controls? Maybe evidence of someone putting something in the input system? No. That's helpful. Thanks. Do not turn away from me. What if I have more questions? That guy has the curiosity of a meatloaf. I'm not okay. going to get anything out of him. Filter. Are these filters the new ones? No, I've just installed the new ones. Those are for the bin. Were these filters in the pool when the water was stained? Yeah. You can get a little sample the of The filters that, maybe? don't have dye stains. Maybe water-soluble dye wouldn't leave a trace. The sides of the pool are clean. I don't see any residue left by the dye. It's over here. Looks like some vanity. Pictures. Crime scene photos. Take them. There is such a... Okay, here we go. The water was really purple. Oh, boy. I think I'll hang on to this. Per Stop lying, that's red. It, it's red, right? I'm not colorblind. <laughs> Is there anything the else? The pool looks normal now. Yes, I can see that. Anything else that I may have missed? Alright, so... Did some investigating, finished up the chapter, so I think this is a pretty good place to leave off. Um, also, I'm going to be posting this on New Year's Eve, so this is going to be my last video of 2020. Thank God. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I hope you guys have a good New Year's. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. See you in 2021.